You are welcome to my HTML5 series. This is a part of my series of tutorials on learning and mastering HTML5. And the goal of this course is to help you understand HTML much easier. And also to become a web developer. To help you become a web developer, I mean. This is coding with your mobile phone aspect of the course. The course is categorized into two aspects. Those practicing with their PCs or laptops aspect is available. Each tutorial is recorded into two. Those practicing with their mobile phone aspect is available and those practicing with their laptops and PCs are available. I encourage each and every one of you to code along with me. This is to help you understand the course much better and also enables you to understand and see the power of HTML. HTML is used to develop web applications, the website we see in the user interface aspect of our website. Let's get started. Let's talk about formatting tags in HTML. What are formatting tags? To better understand what formatting tags are, you need to first understand what formatting is. Formatting refers to the way a document appears, the way and style a document appears. For example, the font size, how bold the document is, or how italized the document is, is formatting. So in our web page, the formatting tags are used to bold, italize, underline, or change the size of our text. So the formatting tags are the bold tag, the italic tag, the underline tag, the big and small tag. Let's see the formatting, formatting tags in action in HTML. So I'll open my editor and write a free, and then let's declare the standard, the standard HTML document. The, I use the exclamation in the document type, doc type. I, see, I, I type in HTML, and then I close. And then HTML. I bring it down with the enter key and then I move on. So the formatting tag, let's start with the formatting tag, which is the B tag. The B tag, if you are familiar with paragraph, I want to open a paragraph. I just want to open a paragraph and implement the and implement the the paragraph tag the okay. Let's first just deal with the tags first. After that, I'll implement it in a much better form for you to see. So the paragraph tag, let's first talk of, of the B tag. If you want a particular text to be bolded in our HTML document, we can use the B tag to bold it. Yeah, to bold it. So now to use the B tag, we declare that we use our less than some and then the B. And I say, let's say we want to bold this is this is and then da, 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 da. and then we close it so we want to bold this text so when we click the preview button you realize that the text is bolded this is you can see that now that is the bold tag in action now the next thing we will talk about is 
the italic tag. The italic tag is represented with I. The italic tag will italize our text in the document. Let's see to do that to use the italic tag we say I and then we close it and then the next will be the content we want to italize so we say we are learning formatting tags formatting tags then we close so we then click on the preview button Person. you will see that the next thing we are learning formatting tags my formatting as well but you could appreciate that it has italized the text the next text you see how they are now let's talk about the italized tag are done in two different ways we have the m tag the e tag also is used to italize our text in our web content in our web page yeah in our web page the em tag is used the emphasis tag is also used to italize our tags so let's say we are italizing this text and then we close the em tag is also used to italize our content you could see that the em tag we are utilizing this so the i tag and the em tag are just similar though these days we use the em tag more than then the i tag you have to take note of that but all of them is doing the same thing now let's talk about underline if we want to underline our a particular text in our web content we use a u tag the underline tag which is represented in u in html and to do that we declare u less than and then close we say this we type in this text is underlined underlined and then we close sorry we don't close it this way when we click on the preview button or press on the preview button you realize that this text is underlined the text is really going to be underlined so that is a u tag in action so our text is underlined now the next thing we will learn about is the how we can change the shape of our text for instance we want a particular text to be big in our web content to make a particular text bigger sorry this is an ad so to be bigger in our web content we use the big tag the big tag is another formatting tag and the big tag is represented by the big tag the, the big we we say big the, by the big here and then we say make we type in make this text big and then we close the tag so you realize that the text is more bigger than the others yeah they will be more bigger than the others and if we want to make certain a particular text more small we can use a small tag so the small tag also is part of the formatting tags and um, we say this we type in this text will be small and then we close it when we close it the, the small tag is represented with the small yeah command and when we preview you see that the text is more smaller than the rest of the text so this text small as that small tag is used to make things more small so this is how formatting how we format our html document in our web page now i want to go a little bit more further with these tags i'm going to create a paragraph and then implement a one paragraph and then implement these things 
these tags within them and you will see how they are done and you will appreciate it in a lot much better in a much better fashion so let's create a paragraph tag here down here so i'll use a p tag if you are familiar with the paragraph uh, sorry the paragraph we we'll use a p tag to create the paragraph let's say we are let's type in this we are learning html5 and this is awesome awesome so we then close our paragraph so now let's preview and see something you see we have opened a paragraph we are learning a term of five and this is our song so we want to first make the w much bigger the w alone bigger so for it to be for us to make it bigger we use a big tag so we start with the b the b and the less than some and then big we close it and then we come in between the w and the e we close the big and then we preview you realize that the w is in our web page will be bigger than will be a lot more bigger the starting w so we have make our w much bigger so now the next thing is that we are going to implement the the bold tag we want to build the html aspect of our paragraph the html5 aspect of our paragraph which one here this aspect so we will use the bold tag and the bold tag we use a b and then we close this and then we come in between here and then we close that and when we press the preview button you realize that the html5 aspect is will become bolder and this is how we build our document um explain this for you to see how the formatting tags are used in action so the next thing will be i'm going to underline the awesome the awesome <clears throat> is my awesome right whatever it is whether right or not the main thing is to help you get the syntax the syntax how to use it right now so let's italize it i'm going to use the em tag and then we close it. we come in between the is and the a and then we say we then type we don't close our m tag we open our m tag and then you see you have to be careful with the way you place things if not you will be facing challenges with that so you have to do it exactly the way i'm doing it it will help you this is going to help so when we preview you realize that the awesome aspect of our paragraph is italized you can use the i or the em tag it's all doing the same thing so let's say we wanna we want to underline that this aspect of our paragraph and to underline that this aspect of our paragraph will we use the u tag and we'll come in between the end and the u and then at the end and the this and we then use declare the u tag and then come in between let's come in between the s and the end of the this and then we close this will underline only the this tag the this tag will be underlined you can see that after you click on the preview so basically okay we can make maybe our r more smaller the r aspect of it i want to implement all the stuff the r aspect this one smaller so to make it small we will declare the small tag it will come in between that okay let me cancel this and then we close it and when we preview you realize that the r is much smaller than the rest so that is how our formatting tags are used in real world situations formatting tags are quite nice to use and if you master them you will 
find a lot more comfort in it and though sometimes these days with css we use css to style our documents but so far sometimes formatting tags are quite useful and that is it if you have any challenges you can comment below it will be resolved i will i'll help you resolve the problems yeah that is it don't for, don't forget to like and subscribe Thank you.